JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for January the 4th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar trade at um, higher against all the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday. It gained the most versus uh, Aussie, Kiwi and the Japanese yen in that order. Now, the strengthening of the dollar and the weakening of the risk linked to Aussie and Kiwi suggests that the markets may have traded in a risk of fashion yesterday and today in Asia. However, the weakening of the yen points otherwise. Therefore, in order to clear things up, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world where major European and US indices were a sea of uh, green, with risk appetite softening today in Asia. Now, Monday was the first working day of 2022 for many traders around the globe who may have decided to resume their activity by increasing their risk exposure. Why? Perhaps for the same reasons they led equities higher during the end of 2021. While the search uh, of, uh, of uh, Omicron COVID cases uh, continues to impact travel and public services around the globe, its military nature keeps market participants optimistic that full-scale lockdowns could be averted. The fact that Tesla rallied 10% on record quarterly deliv deliveries may have also helped, helped Wall Street, especially uh, Nasdaq. Now, so why, why is the dollar up in a risk on environment? In our view, the US dollar is strengthening as market participants maintain expectations of several interest rate increases by the Fed this year. According to its latest dot plot, uh, the committee itself anticipates three quarter point liftoffs uh, by, the end of, by, by the end of 2022. Now, U.S. Treasury yields also moved uh, higher, adding to the view that uh, the U.S. dollar is supported by rate hike expectations. But if market expectations on interest rates remain high, why equities continue to march north? Interest rate hikes affect, neg affect negatively uh, the, profil the, the profitability of, uh, of firms. Now, this is maybe because equity traders have already digested the idea of higher um, of a higher rate trading environment this year or because they prefer to focus on the fact that economies around the globe will stay open despite record coronavirus infections now as for as for today market participants may turn their attention to the energy market as we have a meeting between major OPEC and non-OPEC oil producing nations Despite the fact that, uh, despite uh, the fast surging uh, coronavirus cases lately, the group is not expected to alter its existing policy, as uh, most governments around the globe dismiss the chance of full-scale lockdowns due to the new variant being less deadly than the previous ones. Indeed, on Sunday, the group said that it expects the impact on the oil market from the Omicron strain to be mild, to be mild and temporary. Uh, keeping the door open for a further increase in output. Therefore, we expect the Alliance to continue raising output targets by 400,000 uh, barrels per day each month, as previously agreed. Oil prices could gain somewhat if indeed the group officially confirms the view that uh, demand will probably not be affected. The Luni could gain as well, but its traders may also wait for Canada's employment data due out on Friday before deciding on bigger positions. Now, as uh, for the rest of today's events, we get the UK final market uh, manufacturing PMI for December, which is expected to confirm its preliminary estimate, and the US ISM manufacturing index, which is expected to have slid somewhat. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. 
For those who are interested in learning about uh, the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.